it's a path of great beauty to be a shaman, um, to be able to heal people. But again, shamanism is a spiritual practice. So when you're called to be a shaman, you work with spirits who continue to sculpt away your ego and personality. And so you're constantly going through very difficult emotional and physical experiences because the key to being a great shaman is to have a powerful inner spirit. And so the spirits are always working on you. They're always taking things away from you. They're always giving you challenges that you can't figure out how to get through so that you keep strengthening, strengthening your spirit. And so it's not a romantic path. It, um, many, many people call it the path of the wounded healer, where the shaman has a wound that keeps their heart open and compassionate to the suffering of the world and never closes down or becomes cold to that kind of suffering. But the beautiful part of the work, um, um, there's such beauty to the work of being able to talk to the trees or to open up your invisible ears and actually hear the, sing the, the trees singing because everything that's alive sings. And to be able to talk to the plants. Recently, I was having a physical issue and all of a sudden, all around my house, one um, plant that only grows out in the deepest parts of nature grew all down my driveway and surrounded my house. And so I said, this plant is telling me it's here to help. And I made an essence of it and I take the essence every day.